Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about olefin polymerization in the last few lectures. More specifically, we have been talking about uh, various classification of po uh, polyolefin polymers that are available uh, from various perspectives. Uh, in this regard, we have looked into uh, cl polymer classification from a uh, <coughs> application point of view, particularly from materials perspective. We have also looked into polymer classification from the uh, process uh, uh, point of view, <coughs> from uh, the chemistry uh, point of view and uh, then as well as from the mechanism point of view. So, having uh, discussed uh, various uh, forms of uh, polyolefin classification, we are going to now uh, focus on polyethylene uh, and uh, um, uh, start discussing uh, the various aspects of the polyethylene chemistry, particularly with regard to their uh, preparations, their productions as well as uh, their uh, discoveries. As we had uh, discussed in our earlier lecture that uh, polyethylenes uh, uh, primarily uh, are classified based on their densities and they uh, come in three grades. Uh, one is called LDP, the other is LLDP and HDP. Uh, polyethylenes to be more precise. are classified based on their densities and they <coughs> come in three varieties. Which is low density polyethylene and <clears throat> these are flexible transparent as a film then comes LLDP and they are also fairly flexible. These are linear low density polyethylene and they are also fairly flexible. and transparent <coughs> and the last <coughs> in this classification comes HDP. These are high density polyethylene They are rigid and uh, appear cloudy to opaque. <coughs> now, <coughs> with regard, regard to the <coughs> historical perspective on the development of uh, various processes producing each of these uh, 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 
um, polymers. Uh, the first uh, actually uh, goes back uh, to uh, this uh, LDPE, uh, uh, which uh, is the first uh, one uh, <coughs> uh, to be uh, uh, synthesized or there were processes uh, uh, for this to be synthesized. Uh, and uh, ziegler natta uh, catalysis actually uh, came long after that, uh, about two decades later uh, than the first process, uh, our first few processes that those were used for making, making this LDPE. <coughs> now, uh, as we had uh, spoken about uh, uh, this classification of uh, polymerization, that polymerization from a mechanistic perspective can go by step growth <coughs> or chain growth mechanism all these uh, <coughs> metal mediated uh, 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 polymerization like ziegler natta they are uh, coordination insertion polymerization or cationic polymerization and uh, they are uh, they belong to the group of chain growth polymer now this chain growth polymer not only can happen with cations but they can also be uh, equally happen with anions or even radicals uh, uh, which uh, will uh, lead to polymer uh, through uh, 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 this chain growth pathway. And <coughs> the oldest uh, low density uh, 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 polyethylene uh, was indeed synthesized uh, uh, using uh, the oxygen as the uh, uh, radical initiator uh, by a company called ICI Imperial Chemical Industries um, way back in 1933 oldest of the polyethylene <coughs> it was synthesized by ICI which is imperial chemical industries uh, uh, so uh, uh, in uh, 1933 uh, even today Today, ethylene is polymerized under high pressure uh, pressure less than equals two thousand eight hundred bar and temperature less than equals 275 in presence of of radical initiator like oxygen 0 0.05% or paroxo compound. Now, these uh, uh, one of the main limitation uh, uh, of a radical process is that this radical process is uncontrolled, usually goes without control and as a result uh, there is a, a lot of uh, chain transfer and uh, leading to chain branching. Uh, uh, and short chain, uh, short size chains, uh, they appear in the polymer backbone. Uh, as a result, uh, this LDP low density polyethylene uh, 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 has uh, uh, poor crystallinity uh, uh, and flexible long side and chains. Radical limitation. LDP with 
low density, poor crystallinity, and long chain long side chain branches, long side chain branching so uh, by this radical process uh, there are two limitations uh, uh, obviously uh, this is the first limitation is that this has very long uh, side chain branching low density so on and so forth and the second limitation is extremely high pressure. Uh, 2800 bar. So, uh, that is uh, a tremendous pressure under which uh, this uh, 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 radical polymerization of ethylene uh, is taken care of. And because of such a tremendous amount of pressure, uh, the reaction uh, also goes uncontrolled. And this is done uh, in presence of a radical uh, con uh, containing oxygen or any peroxo compound. However, uh, 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 later subsequently Phillips process uh, came into place where in 1956 uh, uh, using uh, a chromium trioxide catalyst they could uh, prepare uh, uh, these uh, uh, poly uh, uh, LDPE under uh, much uh, less pressure in a heterogeneous fashion, catalysis fashion. The heterogeneous catalytic Philip process by Hogan 1956. performed under low, uh, uh, lower pressure about 10 to 30 bar and delivered HDP high density polyethylene. So, uh, there is a improvement in the catalyst structure uh, because HDP is rigid uh, li uh, uh, high density polyethylene, uh, it has a um, long chain um, and they are cloudy to op uh, opaque and no branching. So, this uh, Philip process is an improvement over the existing radical process which are uh, used for making uh, the LDP. The Philip uh, uh, catalyst uses the uh, upper catalyst which is a chromium trioxide on a silicon support uses a pre catalyst CRO through on silicon SiO2 L203 support active uh, site contains chromium 2 and uh, chromium 4 oxygen state So, uh, in this uh, process uh, uh, the take home uh, message is that uh, a flexible uh, oxygen state uh, uh, change from chromium 2 to chromium uh, 4 is observed in the proce uh, process which could uh, polymerize uh, ethylene at a much lower pressure of about 10 to 30 bar as opposed to the radical polymerization uh, which required about uh, uh, 3000 uh, bar, 2800 bar to be more precise uh, uh, and that to producing uh, 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 producing 
polymer which uh, of low uh, crystallinity and low density like LDP whereas, uh, this heterogeneous process using chromium uh, 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 successfully uh, gave HDP in 1956. And uh, this is known as uh, the Philip uh, process. So, uh, before we go into uh, uh, details of this Philip process, let me just uh, uh, note that uh, uh, the, uh, so far uh, the titanium of uh, ziegler natta catalysis has not entered uh, the arena of uh, ethylene polymerization and other metals like chromium in this particular case is successfully uh, producing HDPE. So, Philip process. And the process uh, sort of proceeds as follows. On a silicate surface, chromium CRO3 would eliminate in water to give and this in presence of ethylene would uh, give out formaldehyde and reduce the oxygen state of chromium from 6 to chromium 4 uh, 2 as is shown here. And then once this bis ethylene adductor of chromium 2 is formed, so this is in uh, chromium 2 and uh, this uh, uh, formaldehyde is obtained uh, by oxidizing this CH2 units. Uh, uh, for each of these ethylene uh, uh, to give uh, formaldehyde and chromium getting uh, uh, reduced to chromium 2 which is then coordinated by ethylene and subsequently these gives a 5 membered chromium metal cycle. as is shown over here. Five membered chromium metal cycle that then beta hydrogen eliminates beta hydrogen eliminates the way it is shown to give the chromium compound as is shown here.
and this is a chromium hydride species. And uh, during the formation point to note that chromium now uh, of this oxidative addition of 2 ethylene has changed to chromium 4. Here also it is a chromium 4 hydride olefinic species and that gives in presence of ethylene it gives the following corresponding complex as is shown here. So, this is an allylic compound with and and the oxygen state of these remains plus 4 as well. So, the take home message from this mechanism is that the oxygen state of chromium initially was chromium 6 that uh, changes to chromium 4, then goes to chromium 2 and comes back to chromium 4 and after that it is chromium 4 all the way. So, uh, uh, this uh, is a heterogeneous process uh, in which uh, uh, this high density polyolefin can be obtained at very, uh, very low moderate pressure about 10 to uh, 30 bar uh, and uh, give a, a well behaved uh, high density H, uh, polyethylene. This chemistry is being done uh, by chromium. Uh, uh, which is also uh, early transition metal. Now, a variation of this uh, uh, catalyst uh, is reported by union carbide. by union carbide that is also a, com a chemical company uh, uh, employs chromosine uh, chromosine is nothing but a uh, ferrocene equivalent and uh, this uh, uh, is uh, uh, useful uh, uh, in the sense that low valent chromium chromium uh, this is plus 2 is directly introduced in, uh, in polymerization. So, uh, this chromium 2 which was forming from chromium trioxide in the Phillips process is replaced uh, uh, with chromosine because that will allow uh, chromium in the divalent state right in the beginning. Huh. 
and uh, the Phillips process. So, that sort of cuts down the reduction of uh, chromium 6 to chromium 4. So, the Felix process is thus uh, shown over here. So, uh, in presence of hydrogen, chromosin is introduced and uh, uh, and uh, this results in elimination of cyclopentane C five eight six, but anchoring the chromium compound onto the silicon surface. So, uh, in this case the chromium has become chromium 4 directly and uh, also formed this chromium hydride and hence upon reaction with ethylene the corresponding polymer product corresponding formula uh, product uh, is uh, formed. Uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, is a, a nice uh, improvement where a low valent uh, chromium uh, is directly used for carrying out uh, the catalysis uh, uh, in the uni union carbide process by starting the reaction with chromosine. So, with this uh, we come to uh, the conclusion of uh, today's lecture. In today's lecture, uh, let me sum up what we have done is we have looked into various industrial processes uh, that were uh, uh, available or known at that time for pre preparing these different grades of uh, um, uh, polyethylene. For example, the earliest known uh, method for poly, uh, uh, low density polyethylene or LDPE was reported as early as 1936, uh, in which uh, and later on uh, they are still produced by uh, oxygen as the uh, initiator through radical polymerization, but this requiring uh, requires very high uh, pressure of about uh, 3000 uh, bars and hence the reaction is extremely uncontrolled with uh, uh, several uh, long side chains uh, uh, being uh, generated on the polymer backbone as a result it gives to low density polyethylene. However, uh, more improved and more my, uh, tolerable amiable conditions for uh, high HDP was reported by Phillips process which was done uh, in a heterogeneous condition silicate uh, aluminate uh, sur uh, surface using chromium trioxide as the catalyst. Uh, chromium trioxide uh, uh, got reduced to chromium 4 and chromium 2 and uh, chromium 2 and then to chromium 4 uh, resulting in a, a chromium um, metal cycle and then subsequent uh, coordination insertion uh, polymerization leading to high density polyethylene uh, uh, were obtained by uh, Phillips process. So, after ICI process for LDP 
then we discussed filling process for HDP and then uh, uh, we uh, looked on an improvement made by Union Carbide uh, for this uh, 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 chromium catalyst and uh, instead of uh, using chromium trioxide which is a, which is a high valent uh, uh, chromium precursor to enter the catalytic cycle, uh, the Union Carbide process uses the, uh, directly the low valent chromium uh, precursor in form of chromium uh, chromosine uh, which uh, uh, sort of anchors on the silica surface and then carries out uh, the phthalene polymerization. So, with this uh, uh, I come to an uh, end uh, of today's lecture, we are going to uh, be looking at some more uh, uh, examples of the developmental stage for ethylene polymerization and then we will cover the most uh, uh, important of all of these ones, the or so called the star of uh, ethylene polymerization, the signal not a catalysis uh, uh, when we meet next. So, once again I would like to thank you for being with me and I look forward uh, to taking up this uh, topic of uh, olefin polymerization or ma mainly ethylene polymerization in great more detail when we meet next. Till then goodbye and thank you.